A story about my grand a story about my grandparents. To celebrate 50 years of marriage is an accomplishment without equal. But to fully understand the magic of this year, let me introduce two extraordinary people. First, a simple and a gentleman who was ready for all life could bring. But he found out quickly that he could not sing. So he became a tennis star and played off for Ash. At a time before winning, meant a lot of cash. <laughs> a tow truck driver, principal, and a real estate man. He had many careers. As a father and a grandfather, he showed his family to live without fears. I came around six years ago, and he told me, be a big boy, and he taught me not to cry. The floor alone, he and I were hanging out at the park at the bank in Uncle Andy's, and forever I'll call my papa. Next, a gracious and a loving woman who always has a hug, hug and a kiss. She never raises, raises her voice, so it keeps her house in bliss. Who <laughs> is kind, gentle, and wise, best describe her to me. She worries for her husband and grandchildren so they can live carefree. She was a beauty queen and a teacher, but her greatest talent was as a guiding light. As a good mother, she devotes all her energy by day and night. In kindergarten, I was always excited to see both excited to see over there because they got extra TV and food. And that's just because if more and more is her nature in her is her nature in her mood. I'll call her Granny, and she forever will bring out the best in me. Now it was now it was 50 years ago today, but my first said I do. No one was surprised. No one was surprised. They made it, and my how time flew. Happy anniversary, Granny and Papa. I love Jonathan.